we are the Raiders Hive. Today we're here to discuss plotting, pantsing, and where the lines blur. For a long time, at least I, believed that you had to be one or the other. And I believe now we have all accepted that the line is blurred and there is a whole sliding spectrum between plotting everything out before you start writing and starting from scratch and just sitting down and writing. So today we're going to discuss where we all fall, kind of demystify the fact that you have to be one or the other. Amber, you want to go first today? So had you asked me this a year ago, I would have been hardcore pantser. Um, now I've slid closer to planning. I don't think I'm fully a plotter somewhere in between. Um, I kind of like to think of what I do as roadmap. Like I create a roadmap. And once I have my roadmap, I can decide if I want to like veer off and check out the sites while I'm there. So I kind of discovery write as I go along, but I kind of plan out like an act at a time so that I know where I'm going. It's been working for me, but I'm still kind of under construction coming up with my own process. For me, I would definitely put myself in the plotter camp. I used to identify with that wholeheartedly a lot more, a lot more rigid. But throughout the years, as I've spoken to um, a lot of different authors, I realized that I blur a little more towards um, discovery writing at a certain point points of my book. So I will definitely start with an outline. I use Save the Cat Writes a Novel Beat Sheets. I use uh, Mastering Suspense Structure and Plot, which I recently found. Um, I love using that roadmap. And I like to change the process up a little bit as I go. Usually like my process will be I'll do the beats and then I will do more of a narrative outline. So I'll just basically write out the book in usually maybe 20,000 words or so. And then I will do a chapter by chapter outline where I can really break that down and add um, little cliffhangers. I like to add cliffhangers at the end of my chapters and just knowing where those beats end and if I need to add any more in between. But when it comes to the drafting process, I definitely use the outline as more of a roadmap. It's not as rigid for me, but if the characters, if I think of something that they want to go off and do something else for a time, I will follow that trail. Most of the time it will lead to something better. I do outline up front and then I try to stay on the outline during my drafting process and then I will veer off in discovery right if I need to. I definitely started off as a planner. I thought that that was just the way that you had to do it. The idea of pantsing when I first started writing was impossible to me. So I was the person with a notebook for each character, a notebook for plot. I had too much information and I got very lost in the process of planning as opposed to the process of writing. And that has changed for me a lot. I do still structure most of my novels through a Save the Cat outline and condensed it into chapters. I will have a basic outline for every chapter. So I know what's going to happen in that chapter. And I basically just have plot point outlines all through my novel. And then I let my characters live wow. through the plot. For me, that's the best way to do it because I tend to write more character-led stories. So I like to know where I need to be and then let my characters discover their way through that. But with the exception of a couple little character interactions that I know I really want to take place or conversations I know want, I know want to take place, um, I kind of let them journey through the plot on their own. So I don't do anything like a super structured breakdown of my chapters. I think at the very most through the first half of my book, I probably have three to four paragraphs on each chapter of things that I know I want to happen. And then through the second half of my novel, when I begin writing, I probably have a paragraph for each chapter. And I reassess that when I reach my midway point. Yeah, it's definitely important with um, aspiring authors as well. There is no right way to do everything. There's, you know, you have to question everything. Um, there's a lot of advice out there from more of the loud people that say you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way, or you will not be successful. So if that's, if you're at all scared about the process, just sort of make your own, take little things um, from take little bits of information from the different places you see and just maybe try it. You know, if you've never written a book before, try writing something, try writing a short story with or without an outline. Um, and then you can sort of, you know, carve your own process in that sense and do what works best for you that will keep you going. I don't necessarily believe in, in writer's block, but I do believe that one of the things that will cause that the most is trying to force yourself into a mold of what you think you should be doing. It's important and it takes a while. You you might not find what works for you the first time you 
sit down to write a book. It's a process of discovering what works and what doesn't. You will grow and adapt and change the way that you write as you continue to write more. Do think that it's healthy to lean into that and not keep yourself to a standard that you, you know, believe you should be at. But definitely en enjoy the process. I think it's also good to remember that your process can change book by book as well, because that's also okay to have book by book processes. Just try different things. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But as long as you're writing and learning and growing, it's it's not a waste of time. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know where you fall in the spectrum of pantser to plotter and what works best for you. You never know who it might help. So I hope to see you down in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe so that you know when new videos like this go up and click the notification bell as well. And join us next time here at the Writer's Hive. For